All right, we're gonna be playing Negligee. I think I said that right. Basically, uh, I'm supposed to be a manager at a lingerie store, looking for a new uh, person to hire. You know? Let's get to it. Honestly, right now, jamming out to this song. Literally dancing in, in my seat. But I don't have like a web webcam yet. Uh, maybe later. Anyway, just, let's get right into it. All right, Hannah. Hmm. Uh, what, what's this? Uh, should I just press enter? Ah. Oh, Hannah, you have a nice room. You're nice and cozy. I see you have a belt, some undies, um, some blue jeans. Is this door up here? Is this one of the developers? Anyways. Who said Monday mornings are bad? Everyone. I bury myself deeper into the covers, nuzzling against the pillow. Okay. I guess most people don't get to sleep in on Mondays. You're telling me. It's a weird quirk of our little shop. But one of my favorites... Is no, you're my best friend, mini vibe. Please come closer. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, so there was an uncensored version of this game, but uh, I'm sure my viewers didn't want to see that. I'm sure they just wanted an honest gameplay walkthrough. Hannah. Y yes, ma'am. I guess I'm the manager. I guess I'm Hannah and I'm the manager. So congrats on the promotion. Promotion? This is happening so fast. Emily, what do you mean I'm the new manager? It only makes sense, doesn't it? Shit, I'll take that promotion. Arrgh. Arrgh. That's fine with you, right? Uh, I guess. Oh, I'll leave the keys by the door for you. What? Anyway, wish me luck on my date. Ha. All right, though. I'm the one who needs luck. I hate to smile. Note. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Hannah won't be able to find any help for you last minute, but go ahead and put the help wanted sign out front. I'll also make some calls and put out ads, and hopefully we'll get some interest. Maybe I'll include a picture of you to get them clamoring. Oh, wow. My boss. I need to talk to HR. I really hope not. Who writes like this? Doesn't she have a business degree or something? Welcome to Negligee. You shopped with us before. Why do you keep moving left and right? What? Uh, yeah, I totally love it here. Um, you hear about the job? Okay, you're creeping me out because you keep moving left and right. Like my boss does that too. We stock in shelves, assisting customers with purchases, working the register. Pretty basic retail, really. All right, so far, so far we've met the crew, right? Well, the applicants. We got Sophie. Charlotte and and um, Jasmine, right? Everyone is getting here at once. It's fine. Please come in. You're all interested in the position, so let's let's what? I didn't actually plan anything. All right, guys. Serious question. I have some more questions for you to answer. Should I ask what attracted you to work here, or what size clothes do you wear? What do you guys think? As a manager. I guess I'll ask what size clothes you wear. It's only appropriate, right? I mean, like, we let we work in the laundry shop, right? I mean, what if she comes shopping later? <laughs> uh, oh, right. I should probably explain. Yes, explain. There are uniforms for the employees, so knowing your clothes size will help me when I assign aprons. Good cover-up. Without warning, Jasmine suddenly pulls her shirt over her head in one fluid mo motion. Oh? Oh shit! <laughs> Did I get the uncensored version? I don't remember. Uh, what is going on? Have I been staring? <laughs> Good idea. Oh my god. Uh, I feel nosebleed coming on. Oh. Is that what we should be doing? <laughs> okay. No, that's- It's too late. 
The chaos has unfolded. It's already upon me. I'm swimming in a sea of half-naked girls from which there is no escape. Uh, heat spreads all the way from the tip of my head to the ends of my toes. Don't look, Hannah. You're stronger than this. Is Hannah into girls? To get a good idea of each of your strengths and skills, why don't we do a trial week? All of you will stay for a week to learn the trade, get some experience, and then we can make the choice. How does that sound? I hope Emily doesn't mind. The girls exchange glances. Um, I've never heard of anything like this, but I'm fine with it, I suppose. A new day dawns. Well, today's a big day. Three new starters. I'm surprised you're the first one here. You're used to, you're used to the night shifts, aren't you? All right, now I gotta do a big boss decision. Who's staying behind to help with unloading the boxes? What do you guys think? Who do you think who has, who do you think has more of a strength, more upper body strength? We got uh, Jasmine, and then we have Sophie, and then we have uh, Charlotte. Mm. I'm thinking this girl. She has the skinniest arm. She looks like she might be doing like some, you know, ways to tone. Uh, we're gonna leave her with. Um, with unloading the boxes, all right. So, Sophie, you stay behind. Sophie, you look pretty strong. Why don't you help with? Uh, why don't you help me with this? Jasmine and Charlie can handle putting the clothes up. I think. Ah, I am the chosen one. She bows. Sure thing, Chief. Don't call me Chief. Oh my god, her fucking uniform? My uniform ripped? Not good. Sophie stares between me and the chunk of fabric cl clutched in her hand. Uh, the color rises in her uh, face like a uh, thermometer. And I think mine is reading the same temperature as we stare each, each other down in shock. How does she even take away a chunk of my bra? I stare down at me clearly visible chest. The pieces of lace and fabric look wil wilted, hanging limply with the threads. Yeah, it's quite the grip. Okay, so I, I skipped like a lot of the uh, of the dialogue, so I'm guessing that my character, the other character, self needed to grab onto something, and she grabbed onto my to my chest or whatever. Sophie clutches her hand, looking for, uh, for all the world, like she's about to break down. Sophie, don't worry, it was just an accident. Freaking ruin your clothes. It's alright, it's alright. We're okay, I we work in a laundry store, uh, store. I can just buy... Now we're in the restroom. How long did I just sit there showing off? <laughs> Conceded. I was too shocked to do anything in the moment. I stripped down, stripped down out of the ripped suit. Hmm. Wait. My casual clothes. I left him in the locker. Hannah, I brought you something to wear. I don't know if it's what you were looking for, but... Oh, and any old thing would do. Oh my, that's uh, that's quite a color. Why did you pick this out exactly? Because I don't know, I wanted to do something nice after what happened. It just came in today. Sophie, it's fine, you don't have to worry about it. But uh, since you already got it, I might as well put it on, right? There we go. We look more professional now. I'm digging it. It's... Is that not something you'd wear usually? Nice. It's not what you think. My suit and bra got ripped a, a while we were unloading the truck, so... Really, I wonder how that happened. She gives Sophie a look who only puts her hands up in defense. Hey, I'm not seeing anything. You can make up whatever you want. I hear giggles and a slight squeal. Hmm. Hmm. 
I just hope they're not trashing the place or stealing from the register. I probably should have done background checks or something. Oh, you don't think? You don't say. The voices grow closer again. Ta-da. Oh, nice. Guys, we're all in uniform now. Nice. Perfect. Now we can get serious. Uh, what is this? Aren't we... Aren't we clevage? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? I said, aren't we clever? Don't you like it? Sophie's something of a genius, I think. She just doesn't like to show it. Oh my god, I'm getting a phone call. Have I died and gone to lesbian heaven where I can finally have my sexuality realized? Oh, she's a lesbian. They were roommates. So how about it? It may increase sales, I think. How does she even convince the others to do this? Well, what do you think? Think? How does that work again? My eyes roam over them, a blush pulling behind my cheeks. This is uh, unexpected. Should they wear the work aprons? Or should they just stay in laundry? I'm thinking this is a little bit inappropriate. I'm thinking they should work with the work aprons because, you know, It'd be a little more professional, I would say. I can't believe I forced myself to say it. The words barely even sound like my own voice, like some prudish uh, demon has taken over. Aww. I'm sorry, but there are rules as to what we can do in the store. I don't want any of you getting in trouble over this, or harassed for that matter. And the fact that I'm enforcing any, any of that gives me a tiny silver of hope for myself. The drool I feel on my chin quickly destroys that. You do have a point. None of you can say you're surprised. I told you she wouldn't go for it. No harm in trying. Besides, I want an excuse to try this on. How can you say no to this figure? Forcefully and fully honest. Hmm. Don't worry, Sophie. I thought it was a good idea. See, even if even if the 11-year-old agrees with me. Wait, what? I'm 18. Oh. <laughs> I'll like... I was like, girl, you gotta get out of here. That, no, you can't work here. I don't know what we'll do with this laundry sets now. Oh, I don't, don't worry. I told the girls you might not go for it, so it only, so only do if they were willing to buy something. Only do it if they're willing to buy something. What the hell's wrong with me? I'm definitely taking this home for uh, personal use, okay? Do you masturbate while thinking about yourself? Okay. Who wouldn't? Maybe I'll give you a cameo next time. I'm sorry I said anything. Uh, we do have a standard uniform style here in the in the form of an apron. Found some of that I thought would fit your sizes. I'm afraid it'll have to do. I'll go get that for you after. We're all back in our normal clothes. Here. I'll set these aprons out on the counter and you can put them on after lunch. I know it's not quite as... Uh, Risque, as you were hoping. With a short enough skirt, I can make this work. Sophie? What? It sounded like a challenge. Aha! With some cute panties too, and that, sh that show up with, uh, only when you bend over. I can't believe I'm hearing this out of your mouth too. What have you done to her, Sophie? Nothing. She's 14. She can handle it. Uh... I don't really mess around with those jokes. <laughs> starving. Be starving if memory serves. Why don't we all take a lunch break before we open up the store for the day? Alright. I'm gonna save it there. Um, I mean, what do you guys think? I'm a good manager, right? Put on the aprons. Can't have these people misbehaving. I mean, I can only hire one at, at the end of the... At the end of the week. Um, so, yeah. See you guys later.